I am Martha Gasquit here with Peter DeLeo. Today, we will be exploring BandLab, which is a web app that students can use to create music they can add to projects in your classroom. From music videos and podcasts to movie, video, or audio presentations, creating music has never been easier and anyone can do it. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with using BandLab to develop creativity in your classroom. We will spend most of our time diving into the mixing editor, but first we are going to do a quick overview of creating an account, setting up your school and classes, and adding assignments. To begin, go to edu.bandlab.com and click Start as a Teacher. Follow the instructions to create an account. Click Create School and fill out the form. Click Create Class and name your first class. Now we can add students. You have three options for adding students. One is to give students this join link. One is to have students create their own accounts at edu.bandlab.com and then give them this code to join your class. Or you can manually enter email addresses. Unfortunately, at this time, you cannot directly import from Google Classroom. Once you have your class and your students, then you can create an assignment. Click on New Assignment and fill out the information that you would like. Publish the assignment. At that time, if you would like to share to Google Classroom, you will have the option of doing that. Once you've created an assignment for your students, it's going to show up in your class screen and they're going to be able to click on and begin that working on that project. Uh, BandLab is a digital audio workstation or DAW. Uh, most music nowadays is created in DAWs, um, more advanced versions than the one that we're going to be looking at. Uh, but this is how music is created now. This is a way that your students can access that musical world that they may be interested in. They listen to music. So this is a really cool and simple way for you to introduce that and get them created and connected in a different way. This is the teacher side of the classroom, and today I'm just going to show you a little bit about how you can utilize BandLab in your classroom and a few of the tools and techniques that you can use. Uh, we're going to go up and create a new project today. And we're going to do that by clicking on our mix editor. When you first start a new project, it's going to come up and give you a few options for creating new tracks. First one on your left here is our instruments. Okay. Our instruments can be any variety of things, basically any instrument that you can think about, we can create something for it. Next option is your drum machine. A lot of students want to create beats. They can rap over and create things that they know and hear every day. So that's an option for them as well. Then you have your voice mic and your guitar and bass. If you have students that play instruments, they can hook up to their computer. They can actually play directly into BandLab and record their music. So even if they're outside of the classroom, that's something, a new tool they can introduce to them. The voice mic tool is really cool as well, and it gives you a lot of options for creating projects. The first tool I want to talk today about is our voice mic tool. I think this is being one of the biggest tools that you can use in your classroom to allow students to do things like create podcasts or do interviews. You can add music to that once it's recorded. It's a really, really simple process. Basically, all they have to do is come up to the top of the screen, hit the record button, and they can start talking. Here I am talking about a really new cool tool for your classroom called BandLab, basically allowing your students to access the world of digital music technology in a way that they may have not done before. The options are endless here. Once they've created their podcast or they've done their interview, they can add music and sounds to it through a variety of different ways. One of the easiest ways for your students to add music to their projects is by using the built-in loop library. BandLab comes preloaded with thousands of intros, music tracks, sounds, drum kits, you name it, they've got it. Your students can explore through this library and come up with anything that they want. Basically, I'm just going to take a quick loop theory, and I'm going to create a track. I'm going to go browse through my loops. 
I've actually already picked out something that I think is going to sound pretty cool. And all you have to do is drag and drop it into your project. It's going to create a new track for me. And then I'm going to slide this over here just a little bit, give it a little bit of an intro, and we're going to see what happens. Here I am talking about a really new cool tool for your classroom called BandLab, basically allowing your students to access the world of digital music technology in a way that they may have not done before. Creating music in BandLab is so simple for your students. It's as easy as drag and drop. They have the option of creating their own tracks as well using either the instrument or the drum machine, but at the end of the day, Using the loop library, they can take all of these things that are already created and make something brand new for them to use as a project. We hope that you can use BandLab to foster creativity with your students. Make a new twist on a project that you already do. Allow them to add music to something that they might not normally add music to. There's so many options available to you, and we really hope that you can use this tool and use this product in a fun and interesting way to foster creativity in your classroom and make a new experience for your students. We hope you have a great day, and we hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about BandLab. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Dear Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.